Okay, we're back here in, in, at uh, Interviewing Hollywood at the NAACP Awards with me, your host, Shahid Manning. And we've got some of LA's finest in the house tonight. We can't uh, do anything without talking to them. <laughs> sir, yes, sir. Yes. Well, introduce yourself to our audience yes. and tell me how this evening is going for you. Yeah. I'm Bernard Parks. I'm a city councilman for the city of Los Angeles, former chief of police of the city. Wow. And I'm here because of the supporting the NAACP for mm -hmm. decades. And this is just one of the many programs that are very positive and expands in our community a good deal of activities and where young people get an opportunity to see if this is a kind of avocation or vocation they'd like to get into. And so anything that we can do to give people that opportunity, we're going to be supportive of it. Okay, so what, do you, what, what is LA's, the, the city unified or, or, or the city's role in kind of sort of advocating the arts and giving back to the arts? Basically what uh, I mentioned in my comments when I received the award is that you can support things, but you really don't support them until you put funding behind it. Mm -hmm. and what I try to do as the uh, chair of the Budget Finance Committee is make sure that there's adequate funding in our cultural affairs department to make sure there's money for festivals throughout the city, mm -hmm. to make sure that uh, within my district that we fund a variety of things such as the uh, Taste of Soul and we, the uh, Theater Awards and the Pan-African Film Festival or the festival after the MLK Parade mm. are all things that I try to make sure there's funding to ensure that people get an opportunity to see these types of activities. Absolutely. So the, the funding though for, for the arts, is it a, to the pool? Is it a pool of funding for the arts? Well, some of it's a line item that you can put into the budget. Uh -huh. What we try to do is have a pool that we set aside for specific programs and so it works both ways. Okay. But we just tried not to allow, particularly in tough times in the budget, the first things people want to cut yeah, it's are of generally stuff. the kinds of arts uh, and culture programs. Sure. And we think that's the time in which you must hold the line Absolutely. and give people those opportunities because there's more and more times people are looking for events that are free in their community yeah. when they're in tough times financially. Absolutely. So my, a lot of my viewers are creative people and they do creative things. Who, 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 how would they contact, who would they contact, say for example, if they wanted to see what was available for creative arts? What they do is contact, call my office, 213-473-7008. Mm -hmm. uh, my son is my chief of staff. They can talk with him. Mm -hmm. He uh, happens to be the same name as I have, so okay. it's very easy. Okay. Uh, the 8th District, and we get them connected within the city uh, to the best sources. Plus, we put on a number of events in our district. Creative people are part of our uh, authors and uh, artists program each year. Uh, they're part of our uh, festivals, the jazz festival we give mm. July 4th. They're part of the MLK festival after the MLK parade. Mm -hmm. So those are things that we bring our local people into, and it's a way in which we can find uh, an avenue in which local people can entertain them within their own community. Sure, sure. There's nothing like having good quality morality in political places. Uh, well, thank you very much. That's what we try to have that plan and make sure we give everyone an opportunity. Absolutely. That's what I like about Barack Obama. He's going to be putting morality back uh, into politics uh, and policy. Uh, That's yes. what we need. Thank you very much. Thank you so much for being on the show, Thank sir. You. It was my pleasure. Wow, we have just been grazed by one of the uh, head of the city, the, one of the councilmen here in, in, in California, in LA, and it was absolutely amazing. You guys take that number to heart because if you guys are doing something creative and you need to get some fun funding, absolutely, absolutely, call that office. We're running out. We're having a lot of other people coming up. So <laughs> enjoy the show. I hope you're having a good time here on Interviewing Hollywood. I'm your host, Shahid Man. Okay, I'm back with uh, the beautiful, the glamorous Raven Laramore Kelly. I just read that guy. <laughs> Raven, so what did you win? I won Best Lead Actress in a, in a local play for the wow. NAACP for my portrayal of the role of the Woods Witch in Turpentine Jake. Wow. Yes. Was, now, okay, was the Woods, you did the Woods Witch here? Yes, I did. And she talked like this and she cast spells on people. <laughs> I know I'm freaking him out right now. No, no, no. But she's doing a good job. That's how I talk in the play. That's how my wow. character, uh, her diction rather, and her uh, whole melodic flow there. Mm -hmm. And I did a lot of singing in the piece as well. And I played a 65 year old. Woman. Okay, so. if you can do that, that's why she got the award, because this woman looks like she's I'm 20. 22 <laughs> maximum. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> you had to tell us how old you are. This is a young lady. We don't do that. Okay, okay. <laughs> well, you weren't too far off, though. But oh, okay. <laughs> but more glamorous than person people sorry. 
<laughs> I had a lot of padding in the piece, and I had I had to bend over like this, and I shook a lot, and I cast spells, and had gray hair, and I actually teamed up with the hair and makeup department wow. with my hair and makeup to do it with them because at the time I was a senior at UCLA, oh, and wow. I was minoring in theater, and they were like, "You need to do an additional class for some credit, something absolutely behind the scenes," and I was like, "Why not tie in the play that I'm doing?" This is so, a smart woman. She is in school. Kill two birds with one stone. <laughs> yeah. So, but I'm well, so look at, look at how it turned out. Hold up yeah. the award. Let's see the award. I want to thank the NAACP. I want to thank Mr. Ron Hassan, Ms. Tia Boyd. Uh, I want to thank Mr. Uh, I, want to, I want to thank I'm just so, I'm so, I'm so excited. I want to thank Mr. Clarence Williams. I, I also want to thank uh, Ms. Barbara Bass and her entire uh, NAACP theater viewing committee. I mean, for coming out and supporting our play, Turpentine Jake, that talked about black men experiencing, and also black women too, experiencing slavery mm. in the 1930s and 40s wow. in Southeast uh, Florida. And well, not that's a lot of people know about that. That's amazing that such a young woman could take that on. Wow. And number one. Number two, that you are, you know, your age and tackling an older, you know, character. I mean, that's the characterization is phenomenal. Thank you. Thank you so wow. much. I couldn't have done it without the support, I should say, the support and guidance of my manager and mother, Phyllis Larimore Kelly. Oh, okay. And she Mom? Yes, she manages me and tons of other celebrities, Renee Watson Johnson, the mother from the Freshman Civility, mm -hmm. and the late and great Judy Ann Mason, a wonderful playwright. Wow. She managed her, and also the late and great my godmother, Yolanda King, Dr. King's oldest daughter. You know, so. in closing, doesn't it feel good to, to be lauded by your peers? It does. It does. It feels it feels great, but it also feels there's also a sense of and I don't think people get this too much, but there's also a sense of humility about it too, mm. for me. Like because I have to do I want to do well. Yes, because it's all it's a sense of like well you did this and almost like what Miss Audrey McDonald was saying mm -hmm. about she's a trailblazer, she's getting the trailblazing award. Mm -hmm. But she's gonna keep on going. And Absolutely. I think this for me it's it's it's, it's, it's very humble mm -hmm. and a good moment for me too. I'm, obviously honored, but it's also very, very a lot of humility high. in it because for me, uh, I've been in business so for a long time. A long time, I'm, and she's 20-something. Yeah, yes, I've been in it since <laughs> I was 16 months old. I mean, oh. I started modeling when I was two months old, so oh. I was going on auditions. The Brooke Shields huh? Yeah, for a long time, yeah. <laughs> So for me, it's so humbling because it's like, it's been a long time coming. Mm, and, it's fantastic. And I'm just so happy, and, and I, I know that I should always continue to be a good role model for okay. young ladies, for young girls. And also, just as a black actress, this means so much to me because we don't get nearly enough recognition mainstream wise. And to be applauded like this by your own people, it's so touching. And oh, I'm so sweetheart, happy you right should now. be crying and everything. I want you to feel it and Thank enjoy you. it. You Thank you so much it. for having me. And I should oh, say I have a wonderful dad, too, because black men need their good credit. My father, Kevin Kelly, he's an engineer. Not only Kevin, but oh, Barack and all these other wonderful, intelligent yes. black men. Absolutely. Yes. I mean, I'm, I'm just drawn by how powerfully you understand that life is about giving and being so young. It took me a long time to understand that. But that is powerful. And if you keep that going, young lady, you're going to be just you. fine. I want you to share all your talents with us because I look forward to seeing it. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for having me. As Thank well. you. And I want to end this by leaving black actresses and black actors with this message that Virginia Capers gave me a quote before she passed away. And she told me, You see how humble you are, Raven, right now. You, you have so many gifts. You're so talented. And you take every compliment in stride. And you're so humble. Keep that up. And this is what she said to me. Remember this, black people. Ego means. Erase God out. Oh, powerful. I couldn't say it better myself. Thank you so much, the beautiful, the wonderful lady. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank, Thank you so you much. So much. Anyway. Okay. Wow. I, this young lady is absolutely mature, way beyond her years. I loved speaking with her. I mean, the, just the, the energy around here is like that. I think the people in the theater have such a, uh, seem to have uh, such a more, a, a deeper sense of why they want to communicate, why they want their art to be seen by other people. And it's just brilliant. I, I've seen it with everyone here tonight. Everyone here tonight is a true, true, true actor. And I look forward to uh, seeing a lot more of all of them. It's exciting here at the NAACP Awards, guys, with me, your host, Shaheed Manning. Enjoy. Enjoy.